I'm singing Sarah from Sunflower Music with this week's Sing and Rhyme Story Time. How are you? I hope that your fall is off to a wonderful start. Today's my first day wearing a long sleeve shirt, so it's definitely starting to get a little bit of that chill in the air. Will you sing hello with me? today because we are going to stand up and we're going to move around the room in different ways. This fun song is called Tippy Toes and it's by Marsha Lewis and it's a piggyback song on the melody of the Hall of the Mountain King which is by Edvard Grieg. It has a really cool kind of mysterious sound to it. When, when things are in a minor key they sometimes might sound a little more mysterious or spooky and I think that's kind of so let's get on our tiptoes and walk around the room. Tiptoe around the room. Here we go. Ready? Here we go on tippy toes, tippy toes, tippy toes. Here we go on tippy toes and tiptoe around the room. Here we go on tippy toes, tippy toes, tippy toes. Here we go on tippy toes and walk around the room. Boo! Did I surprise you? We're gonna add a boo to the end of the every verse. So I wanna hear you nice and low, boo. All right, let's do walking feet. March 
marching feet. You gotta get your knees up high. moving friends I love hearing your boos everybody sit down sit down sit down everybody sit down it's story time our book today is called where the wild things are you might recognize this they also turn it into a movie the author and illustrator is Maurice Sendak author author what do you do I write the words in the book for you Illustrator, illustrator, what do you do? I draw the pictures in the book for you. So I'm gonna play some instruments along with this book for sound effects. So the main character in the book, his name is Max, a little boy named Max, and every time I say his name, I'm gonna play the drum. So if you have a drum or something like a drum that you want to play every time I say Max, you feel free to do that. Now, and there's gonna be some trees in this story. And for the trees, I have this really fun instrument called a slide whistle. It goes up, just like the trees grow up. Then Max gets on a boat and he travels, <laughs> he travels across the ocean. And so I have this really awesome ocean drum or wave drum. There are little, There are little beads inside of there that roll around and make the sound of the waves. And then finally, there are the wild things. And so for the wild things, I have something called a ratchet. Something nice and loud. They're nice and loud, big old wild things. So here we go. Where the Wild Things Are. Story and Pictures by Maurice Sendak. Now let me turn this. Just a little bit. There's Max. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. Uh-oh, he's not being very nice to the dog. His mother called him wild thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. <gasps> so he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night, in Max's room, a forest grew. Here it goes. And grew. until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max as he sailed off through night and day. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Until Max said, be still. And tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened, and they called him 
the most wild thing of all. And they made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Ooh, a wild rumpus. What are they going to do? They're going to howl at the moon. <laughs> They're going to swing from the tree. Swing, 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 swing. They're going to march through the forest. March, 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 march. Now stop, said Max, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all the wild things, was lonely. There he is. And he wanted to be some, and he wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. <gasps> you can smell it. Mmm. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. There it is. And it was still hot. The end. We are gonna need a scarf for our next song, so can you pause and find a scarf or something to play peekaboo with? And when you're ready, come on back gonna hide. This song is called Where'd You Go? And it's by Stephanie Level of Music for Kiddos. <gasps> Where'd you go? Nobody knows. Where'd you go? Nobody knows. Where'd you go? Nobody knows. Five, four, three, two, one. Boo! <laughs> Where's your chin? Nobody knows. Where's your chin? Nobody knows. Where's your chin? Nobody knows. Five, four, three, two, one. Boo! Where's your knee? Boo! Where's your toe? Boo! Where's your head? Boo! And where's your nose? Boo! Where'd you go? Nobody knows. Where'd you go? Nobody knows. Where'd you go? Nobody knows. Five, four, three, two, one. Boo! Where's your shoulder? Nobody knows. Where's your shoulder? Nobody knows. Where's your shoulder? Nobody knows. Five, four, three, two, one. Boo! Where's your knee? Boo! Where's your toe? Where's your head? Boo! And where's your nose? Where'd you go? Nobody knows. Where'd you go? Nobody knows. Where'd you go? Nobody knows. Five, four, three, two, one. Boo! <laughs> Let's do one more body part. Let's see. Where's your neck? Nobody knows. Where's your neck? Nobody knows. Where's your neck? Nobody knows. Five, four, three, two, one. Boo! Where's your knee? Boo! Where's your toe? Boo! Where's your head? Boo! And where's your nose? Boo! Last one. Where'd you go? Nobody knows. Where'd you go? Nobody knows. Where'd you go? Nobody knows. Five, four, three, two, one. Boo! 
what a fun song. And if you are a parent watching this with your child, you can take turns of who is hiding. Especially with little babies, it's best to use something that's sheer so they can still see you through it. So it's a little less, um, a little less scary when you suddenly disappear. And uh, yeah, so have fun with that one. We are going to have to sing goodbye for today. So I hope to see you again next week. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, my friends. Music was fun today. I'll see you soon again. Have an awesome week.